Even though DL4 Mark II is super simple, we've hidden some cool new secret functions for those willing to dig a bit deeper. Normally, pressing tap sets the tempo of your delay in quarter notes as you might expect. If you want a different note subdivision, say a dotted eighth note, hold legacy alt and turn time to dotted eighth note. Okay, this is clearly first and foremost a delay and looper pedal, but we also include 15 reverbs as sort of a secret bonus. Now these aren't silk screened on the top panel, so make sure you have your cheat sheet or manual handy. To access the reverbs, hold legacy alt and turn the selector knob to choose one of 15 reverbs. For example, if I want the hot springs reverb, I'd select Adriatic delay. Hold legacy alt and turn repeats to set the reverbs decay. Hold legacy alt and turn tweak to adjust the reverbs parameters. These are all different and they're listed in the cheat sheet as well. In this case, the number of springs for the hot springs reverb. Hold legacy alt and turn tweeze to move the reverb before the delay, in parallel with the delay, or after the delay. Hold legacy alt and turn mix to control the reverb mix or the blend between the dry and the reverb signal independent of the delay mix. This isn't technically new as it was also in the classic DL4, but if you have an expression pedal and you're really missing out if you don't, you can use it to morph the positions of all five knobs. Actually more than five if you count the secret reverb knobs. Move the pedal to the heel position and set any of these five knobs the way you want them. Now move the pedal to the toe position and set the knobs the way you want them there. That's it. Now moving the expression pedal morphs between all of those changes. It's dead simple, a lot of fun, and even works while the looper is active. You can make entire ambient pieces with this one feature, and a bunch of people have over the years with DL4. Remember, heel down, turn knobs, toe down, turn knobs, that's it. We also have a bunch of hidden global settings so you can customize how DL4 Mark II behaves. Now you'll need the owner's manual for this one, but keep in mind global settings typically only ever need to be set up once, so once you do it, you're done. To get into the global settings, hold Alt and press Tap. The selector knob now chooses the global parameter. You'll notice Legacy Alt will turn some color other than green, and pressing Alt will cycle through any available settings for that parameter. Let's try a couple. Say we want to change what the tap switch does. The manual tells us tap foot switch assign is at crisscross, and legacy alt is red, which means it's set to tap tempo, which it is by default. Press legacy alt to change the function. White is one switch looper, which gives you a one switch looper on the tap switch that can be used with any of your delay presets. Blue is expression toggle, which is the same thing as moving an expression pedal from heel down to toe down. Orange is squeal, which means holding tap will crank the repeats knob all the way up until you release it. And yellow is preset DEF, which means tap will toggle between presets A, B, and C, and DEF giving you access to six presets instead of three. Pressing any switch exits global settings, and you'll see that tap is now yellow, meaning it toggles preset banks. Let's do another. Hold alt and press tap to enter global settings. Turn the selector knob to looper. The legacy alt button places the looper before the delay and reverb or after the delay and reverb. If I set it to harmony, I can set the looper to be either mono or stereo. Global settings also let you switch between true, buffered, or DSP bypass, let you set up the MIDI channel, what external switches do, and much more. Press any switch when you're finished. So. Yeah, you need the owner's manual to know what settings are what, but once you're done, you never have to touch them again.